In this tutorial, we'll look at how we can manually call a modal in Bootstrap 5 with vanilla JavaScript. All right, so here I have an example project, and right now I can open the modal by clicking on this button. But let's say that we want to do that with JavaScript, so without clicking manually, so without clicking us here, we want to be able to open the modal with vanilla JavaScript. All right, so here in the HTML, um, you can ignore everything else. This is my modal here, and I've just copied this from the documentation. I've collapsed the HTML because there's quite a bit of HTML and the ID here is booking modal. So step one is to get a reference to the modal, right? So you can say something like my modal. And now this is gonna look a little bit strange uh, because you know we're not used these days to, to, to work with classes uh, anymore, but that's how bootstrap works here in JavaScript. So we say new bootstrap.modal and then you give the ID with the hashtag, right? So then we have a reference to my modal and on this variable, you can call these methods. So for example, what we could do is maybe we want to show the modal when the page loads, right? Or maybe, you know, after let's say two seconds. So what we could do is we could say set timeout after 2000 milliseconds, right? Two seconds, right? So by the way, it's really important that you have mastered JavaScript and CSS itself if you work with Bootstrap. Those are really the underlying fundamentals. So definitely check out my courses on them. The links are in the description if you want to take them to a professional advanced level. All right, so now we can say my model dot show, for example. This is one of the methods that we can call on my model. So now when I load the page, let's see what happens. After two seconds, um, the model gets displayed, right? We can make it very quickly, maybe after half a second, I'm gonna refresh, or maybe um, what you wanna do is, you know, as fast as possible, basically. So what you can do is you can listen for the DOM content loaded event. When that event occurs, we're gonna run this function, and in the function, we only do this, right? Show, so now, as soon as possible, it's gonna show the modal. We can also hide the modal, right? So let's say maybe uh, we're gonna open it up manually and then um, we're, go we, we're, we're gonna hide it through JavaScript. So we can simply say my modal.hide, right? So I'm gonna quickly open it. I'm gonna refresh, quickly open it, and it should be hidden at some point. And it works. So what are all the available methods? Well, you can go to the documentation, make sure you get the right version, because if you just Google for Bootstrap Docs, you're actually gonna get an outdated version, well, the first link at least. And here you can see um, some of the uh, methods that are available, right? So toggle is also possible, right? Toggle will just un will hide it if it's currently being displayed and vice versa, right? Now, do you do wanna make sure, by the way, that you're linking to the Bootstrap JavaScript, right? Um, we're, we're in version five at the moment. You can go to their website, right? And they will show you the latest version and they also give you the links, right? So the JavaScript bundle here already includes popper JS. So you don't have to, and actually you shouldn't include popper JS separately because it can cause bugs. And I'm linking to it in the head uh, section here with the defer attribute, right? So this will not block parsing the rest of the page. And also I'm linking to my own script after the, the, the bootstrap script, right? So then in my own script here, this bootstrap thing is available to us, right? Because this is the script that creates it in the first place, right? And I'm also using defer here and defer respects the order here, right? So it's really important that you have mastered JavaScript, also CSS, um, when you work with bootstrap or, you know, with front end in general, definitely check out my courses. The links are in the description. By the way, if this was helpful, I'd really appreciate it if you could like and subscribe. Also, check out my courses on CSS and JavaScript if you want to take those skills to an advanced level. Because in there, we will build some beautiful real-world projects from scratch so you can see how everything fits together and really master CSS or JavaScript. And I will also release other courses soon like React and Node.js. So if you want to be notified, then make sure you are subscribed to the email newsletter. You can find the link in the description. Thanks for watching and I hope to see you soon.